really I'm making this video because I actually rock with academic. You know what I mean? Some people they do, some people they be about. Had a concert in New York, or matter of fact, Fig Community World had a concert. It's a combination. It's a bunch of dudes from LA that were on the no Jumper podcast. They fell out with the No Jumper podcast and Adam Twenty for different reasons, right? For complicated reasons. They had a show in New York with their own platform, live show. So DJ Academics pulls up. Makes he on the po uh, platform. Because, you know, he's in, he lives in New Jersey. And this is New York. Apparently, little, uh, Brody got pressed. Brody got pressed. I'm seeing this because every once in a while I check in with his channel, see what clips and segments that he dropped because usually they're pretty funny. But I was interested in seeing this because I haven't really seen clips of this on Instagram or anything like that. And we showed up. So I was looking specifically just I could just down to business. But leave a like, subscribe, comment on the video, all those types of things, bro. So I'm passing my mic around and I'm right there is three of them, even at a point. And I'm telling you, if anybody got a live stream, this is facts. I, I can't mic and i give it to the crowd this is me doing this willingly right uh they then give me another mic which is whatever whatever and people are basically like fuck no jumper blah blah blah, blah whatever cool it gets to one of the guys who basically he just wanted to be like yo now nah, we just fuck with back on fig blah blah, 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 blah and, and then they say yo we don't fuck with like snitches or whatever the case is and i think that's when they address it to me they said yo something something six nine right and of course like Tira with all that orange on. I know he's who. Damn, bro. Showing up. Like, bro, these are paying fans. Let me, like, I'm sorry to tell y'all. These are paying fans at a venue. Bro, is these showing are like, out. as much as these guys think they're this tough gangsters, you came to watch podcasters speak. I'm sorry. You could throw up 50 <laughs> million signs. You're here sitting like you're, like you are a well-behaved, trained motherfucker listen to a podcaster speak. I don't care what sign you throw up, nigga. He has a point. Because what a lot of people do is they gangbang or talk crazy or make death threats in spaces that are occupied by civilians that are not only tech savvy, but are, you know, fairly intelligent or not really, you know, you're not on the internet acting a fool. Um, or, or you're not just you're like, you're not on the internet gangbanging or whatever, because you want to lose your life. Like real gang members do, you not you're not on the internet trying to go to jail, you're not on the internet trying to, now some people, they self snitch, but you're not on the internet. You're not on the internet trying to go to jail, lose your life. You're gangbanging on the internet, gangbanging in a safe space. I will call it right. Like a, a venue heckling in the crowd. You're not. You're not in a putting yourself in a position to where you're showing how truly gangster you really are. Act is worth a lot of money. So you really don't get any kudos for heckling somebody with a lot of money who in reality can't do anything. I don't know what his reaction was uh, to the heckling. But, you know, we're going to get more into it, but you don't gain any any cool points for pressing somebody who's not a gang, not gang affiliated for one. Has his beefs, but a lot of it is just an exchange of words. He's a part of the media, and he defends himself as part of the media. You can't really knock a man for for standing his ground, right? So the nigga was like, "Nah, fuck with snitches, yo." And then he said something about my social with six nine. So I'm kind of joking it off, thinking it's not that serious, right? Okay, all right, people did six nine all the time, whatever, whatever. And then I forgot what he said. He said something to me. I said something back to him. I'm not still not taking it serious. So that's the second person. Another nigga gets the mic, but I can't, this guy can't see. So the first, the first guy with the 6 9 thing, I can see. He's somewhere in the back. He was like, yo, so act, you don't fuck with Jersey, blah, 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 da, 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 da. It's like, nigga, and I'm like, I'm like, so I started telling him, I'm like, nigga, the fuck? It ain't on me to fuck with nobody who ain't never fuck with me. Then the nigga said, yo, nigga, you pussy. So then I said, bro, I can't even see who you are or where you're at. I said, nigga, come to the, if you're going to talk all that shit, come to the stage. The nigga gathers his homies. It's like two or three of them. They walk to the stage. Let me see if I can show you. They walk to the stage, right? They walk to the stage. They So it's three of them right here. 
Like right here, right here, right here. They walk to the stage. He's saying some shit. I'm saying some shit. I'm right there. It's three of them. Even at a point, and I'm telling you, if anybody got a live stream, this is facts. I, I, I couldn't lie because it's on live stream, right? I literally say, I literally say, nigga will do something. You know what he says? Because first of all, he say, yo, oh, we'll put pause on you. So I'm like, nigga, do something. What the fuck is you? Why are you telling me? Like, why is the gangster? And I heard the, I heard the least gangster thing, and that's when I realized this was all a joke. The nigga said, you gonna, pr you gonna, you gonna file a lawsuit on us. Wait, a gangster just said I'm gonna follow. Nigga, I'm the rich one. You're broke. <laughs> I'm gonna file a lawsuit on you. That's when I realized these were all costume gangsters. I'm sorry to say, these were costume gangsters. Hold, I don't know if this has a whole clip. Let, let's see if we can find it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I can't find. Yeah, I'm, I'm just listening to the commentary by other niggas. Uh, does anybody have like a good clip? This might be it. Oh, that's the groove right there, nigga. You know, big H's, nigga. And the I don't know. This is the gangsters platform you want, cuz. Bro, is this nigga doing a reaction video outside? Are different on this platform, I swear. This nigga is outside in the rain. Oh, he clearly in Cali. Looks like he in Cali for sure. Bull is outside doing a reaction video. That's actually hilarious. Yes, okay, so this is a guy. Because there's no fucking way. He don't got a microphone. I mean, you don't need a microphone. But it's just funny that he's outside. Like, bro, he couldn't go in the crib and find a little tuck spot. Do it in the bathroom. Some Like, you didn't even have to be on camera, for real. You could have just talked into the phone and watched the video. Like, how I used to do when I first started streaming YouTube, whatever. Bro, I used to literally record... On, I used to stream on Twitch and I used to talk into my, head, into my headset, into my phone at the same time, sync it up. I download the Twitch, the Twitch, a full Twitch vibe to my phone, edit it on this app into clips and sync it up. The audio, it was ridiculous. Everybody has a janky story about how they started. We're outside. That's funny. I can't lie. That's, I, that's, okay, that's pretty so, funny. So, so yeah, this is a guy who brings up six, nine. Remember, I'm passing my mic around. And it's basically people saying why they fuck with back on fig over like no jumper because in the really why I think it's messy, bro. Don't you don't you rock with Adam or or they have like fake beef or whatever? You gonna be on here talking about some why do you mess with fig immunity over and he know that they split up on some other shit. So like it's funny that bro, my act is messy though. I even asked. I don't be messy. Lie. I'm like. Bro, if you like back on Fig and Community, you probably found them through No Jumper. So how could you like love them so much but not associate with No Jumper at content at all, right? So this As guy basically know, he said it's the way. realest platform you know with that you'll ever see, thing. and he says we don't—they don't fuck with rats. That's when he addresses it to me, and he brings up Six Nine. Yeah. See, I'm not even paying him attention. That's what he's not pointing me. Bro got the hand dog. He about to violate. I probably tap him in right now. Hit the square. Do something, nigga. Look up, nigga. You a nigga? Oh, crib. Oh yeah. Say so he cribbing on, bro. So they, so they got a bunch of crips in the house. I mean, it's fake community world, so I feel it. But you know, this is a danger. This is kind of a lose lose situation for DJ Academics. We'll see how. Let's see how he plays. joking i'm like nigga, i don't know nobody who fuck with rats what are you talking like i'm just joking it out again this is why yo gangsterism and podcasting y'all need to go to the military <laughs> whoever <laughs> this guy is this bozo you need to go to the military you came to a podcast to shout you paid to get in whoa niggas in the comments are wilding go ahead and skip that So now I got a heady bottle in my hand. I'm still chilling. 
Bro, this is this dude on the left. I'm watching him. He's he's pretty funny. Just by just by idling with his cup. Like I wonder what's in his cup. What you think is in his cup, bro? Drop. Uh, tell me in the comment section. What you think is in his cup? He's sipping water, bro. Is he sipping juice? You think he's sipping some hen dog? What you think he on? What, what you think he off of? Wait, okay. I don't know why they cut it off because I stood up at that point, but whatever. Okay. A Mills? Nigga, I don't. Okay. Nope, bro. Nobody want to see Jay Mills. Come so on. the first clip, they cut it off that I responded. Then now this one, I think this is where I couldn't see the guy. <laughs> nah, did he really just offer him to the Johnson? Hey, on the East Coast, that's a death sentence, bro. He's playing. Hey, I, I'm gonna give my full thoughts at the end of the clip that I'm watching right now. But I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You're in the East Coast, and somebody offers you to you to the Johnson. They tell you SMD. All right, they tell you come eat a Frank. They tell you blow this Johnson, blow these sacks. You gotta punch that man in the face. Facts. I'm not lying. You gotta take off on him. You gotta take off on him. Somebody offers you to the Johnson, bro. You got two to three seconds to let to 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 to, to take off on. Board. And that's just if you in the hood. Those are the hood rules. You're, if you're in civilian land in suburbia, you chill out. You know what I mean? But it depends, though. But you could kind of chill out because, you know, the police, they move a little faster on those parts of town. And people, bro, you can't even steal on somebody. You know what hoes say? He said, can't even steal on a nigga. Motherfuckers will sue. He not lying. He not lying. But if somebody offers you to the Johnson, right? Academics never claim to be a fighter. He never claimed to be a thug. One thing I respect about him is that he'll hold his ground on some man shit, take his lumps, whatever comes afterwards, he'll, you know, it comes. But nobody has ever tried to like swing on dude. No one ever tried to punch him. Like I always say, words are words and violence is violence. And I live by that. You're not throwing hands. If you're not, if you're not throwing hands, like if Bull would have got up on stage, stood to academics, then he's liable to sock on him. Then see the thing about it is, if he did that, which realistically he's liable to do that, right? If somebody gets in your face, you got to take off on him real quick because you know he's about to try to take off on you. Then you know he's going to sue you because you're a million dollar man. But if you wait, then you can get packed out. You know what I mean? So I, I see him. He's dolo. I don't see any security up there with bro. Just a bunch of the crib homies that also have a podcast. They're also liable for all types of litigation that they jump in and start socking on fools. You know what I mean? When you're in, when you're in a position where you have a platform, bro, you got to move a little smarter than this. I, he's getting a little reckless, man. I no. I still can't see who it is. I'm just talking shit to nobody. I see that sound like Troy uh, yeah, you can't talk. I don't know why niggas bringing up Jersey. Nobody from Jersey can tell me that. I told him, stay in the Brook. Like, don't bring up Jersey. Stay with Brook. Here's the thing. This, this is why I hate about this whole getting press shit, right? Or people even say you're getting pressed. Two men saying something to each other. He the gangster. Nobody, not one of these niggas hopped on stage. Not one of these niggas was outside afterwards. None of, yo, these niggas came. Did you look for them outside? Or is he saying that he was looking for the, like, 
really get it cracking afterwards? Is that what he's saying? Is he saying that he was looking to salt to finish this? Shouldn't have. Because these, a lot of these niggas will crash out. Yeah, look, you don't know who you're talking to. I understand they bought tickets. They're there to watch a show. But think about how many times people's concerts got shot up. The theater that he's at is in the hood, bro. It's not like somewhere super nice and grandiose. It's a small amphitheater, bro. People can just get up in that mug, bro. They're, just, they're there to watch a bunch of crib dudes do a podcast. Think about that. He, they're banging on you and stuff. You feel? Um, but here's the thing, though. When you're antagonizing the streets the way you do, even the way Charleston White does. Uh, the thing about Charleston White, though, he's, he has more of the OG homie vibe. You know what I mean? Where... He'll trip on you, but you take it as more of an OG thing. Ak is in the mix a little more when it comes to like some of these people are his peers. They might be around the same age, 30s, early 30s, late 20s. And uh, if you go looking for trouble, bro, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, right? Now, he hasn't been touched yet. 6 9 has not been. He got, 6 9 got touched. But before that, remember, he was talking that shit until he finally got touched. So he got caught up. Uh, all it takes is one time and the thing is when you're in somebody's you're in somebody's possession when they catch you they catch you outside it only takes a split second for it to jump off and when it jumps off the way that it gets finished is where you know it's out of your hands out of your control that's what makes beef scary now I don't know how many beefs academics it has going right now but I feel as though it might be more than one right Think about having all this beef is now you have to move a certain way. You got to move more militant. You got to carry guns. You got to watch your back. You know what I mean? It's getting closer and closer to home. Now he's in New York talking shit to all of these people. He mentioned a, a borough. Some people, they're stupid. They might think that he was dissing the borough, even though I, I don't think he was. He was just saying, mind your Brooklyn business. But people from Brooklyn might be like, hold on. What you mean by that? You can't tell me what business I can mind. I'm but we some and that's how a nigga moment starts. A nigga moment is literally a trap in which there's no reasoning. You got to you got to thump it out. However, you know what I mean? And the thing about academics is he'd be like, I'm trying to be a man about the shit. But the thing about it is it's cool to be a man unless shit rock because it didn't escalate. And it's cool to have conflict management, de-escalation abilities. Like, I honestly recommend that. That's how you live longer. But to be in a situation like this, I'm surprised that Bull made it out. I know he has experience when it comes down to dealing with a lot of these dudes to where he can read the room and he understands like, nah, this nigga's not really gangster, blah, blah, blah. Niggas watching us podcast talking about he's going to do this, do that instead of banging on the block. It's a great observation. But at the same time, you do not want to be the guy who left, uh, 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 who really is or maybe thugs that enjoy podcasts that pulled up. You don't want to be the guy that left a taste, a bad taste in bro, bro's mouth. And now you got a trip. Now you have to deal with that. Now you have to deal with he looking for you. And if you're not looking for him, cause you think he just some broke bummy dude. That's when people get got you dig? everybody that we ever lost in the last couple of years. We never expected to lose. And, and, and the things that they got lost over even were janky. You know what I mean? Paid, got drunk, shouted, went home and was like, I can't wait to see the clip. These are the gangsters too. They're all throwing up signs. Nigga, I'm the only non non affiliated nigga in there, nigga. <laughs> I'm in New York telling these niggas, nigga, well, stay in Brooklyn shit. Don't be mentioning Jersey. Fuck are you talking about? My mic is low though. I didn't even know it was low. Jersey? See, that's what I'm like, you just talking shit. He pulled his pants up. He looked ready to get down. That do know who got up. <laughs> so this nigga was like saying shit from the shadows. I do like use my 
money too, bro. Cause like, what, what, he is vi okay. Now he's violating. Like niggas ain't about to touch me. Like, like the fuck was, you, fuck are we doing? Hey, if I'm in a building with all gangsters and y'all say I'm soft, I don't come outside. I'm pussy. The first time I tell y'all niggas to suck dick, it should have been a million things on stage. Should have been the mic on stage, the ball you got on stage. It should have been a. I thought that's what gangsters do. A nigga literally gonna tell me, bro, you're gonna file a lawsuit on me. I'm like, okay, all right, so we're just joking now. We're joking. So I ain't gonna lie to you. All in all, and I'm gonna keep playing. I know, I know y'all gonna cut off. All in all, I actually had a good time. Like, bro, I like talking shit. You feel me? Nobody got touched. Nobody like, like I didn't feel uncomfortable. If if, if those are the if those are the if those are the gangsters out here, I didn't feel uncomfortable. So I'm good. They're good too. They paid for their money. They got a memorable experience. I don't see nothing wrong with it. To keep it real, me personally, but we got some more shit to talk about. Let's keep playing. <laughs> Look at this hall up. Look. <laughs> look at the, look at the, the whispers and the shadows. <laughs> so the nigga was like somewhere back here. He got his homies, so now they about to pull up. Yo, for the real back on feet, feet you need world fans. I got like that pussy nigga that came to the stage with that shit. Yeah. I tell him like yo, cause everybody in the building. I ain't gonna lie. Every I ain't know their audio was like that. Everybody in the building is, you know, it's mad signs throwing up. Like, as soon as they said something, it's like, yeah, they throwing up signs. I'm like, what the fuck? Everybody's gang affiliated. I'm not gang affiliated. I think, too, one thing he was starting to realize is, even though these are the homies and they've been on his stream, that, you know, the fans he's used to interacting with, like, on his stream, they talk a lot of crazy shit in their chat. But... They're not the type of folks that be outside. Like, I know people that are in Discord all day long talking some hot shit. When you meet them in real life, you're just like, what? Like, bro, I could really sock on you just for how hot you speak to other niggas in here, bro. Like, just how hot you speak. Like, I'm I'm on Discord trying to play the game, and you on here talking shit like it's a real arena to talk shit at, bro. Like, I get it, bro. It's for funsies. But realistically, I'm like, bro, I could slam you. Bro, I could hit, hit you with the bus driver uppercut. And you'll be up out of here. Uh, I can do the body shot, fold you in half. You dig know what I mean? Make you double over. It's like, I, I get it, bro. Now you outside. But one thing I respect, though, is that energy that he does keep on his streams. He kept it here. Consequences aside. Because part of being a man is risk assessment. So being a man as well, reading the room a skill that every man needs to have and you only learn how to read the room from dealing with people even in hot situations confrontational situations where you continue to stand on business and then eventually a lot of men will back down they talk that hot shit because they think they can carry you people talk to at dj academics the way they do because they think he's the same dude that dealt with vic mensa a long time ago like he's just not getting older or something this man's got he got a lot of experience with people to know who to play with and who not to play with he has a lot of experience with different types of people to know who to play with and who not to play with. He has a lot of experience, different types of people to know who to play with and who not to play with. Understand? This is a valuable skill as a man. Uh, I'm t and I'm, right now I'm looking at the silver lining of the, of the whole shit. I'm looking at the undertones of the whole shit. Something that you could possibly learn. That being said, I just hope and pray that, and I'm assuming he has some people with him. I don't know if he has security, professional security per se, but I know that he has some people with him. He keeps his folks. He does have a dude uh, that he that be looking out for him, that uh you know holds him down whenever he's moving around the city. So you know I know he was straight, but I'm just glad Brody made it home. Truthfully, I I didn't believe that it would be uh there would be any type of crazy violence and anything because. Even though academics, he puts himself in situations with people that talk a lot of hot shit. A lot of the time, the loudest in the room is the least dangerous anyway. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't thinking like I'm watching this. I'm not feeling the tense. I'm not feeling tense uh, tension. I'm not feeling the. You know, he said he was comfortable. It seems as though he was in his element, right? 
from a city where, you know, I mean, Jersey is rough no matter how you slice it. So they in New York, New York, Jersey, almost the same thing. Very slightly different. So, you know, he held his ground. He held his own. He stood his ground as a man. I, all I could do is respect it. With that being said, bro, he didn't get pressed. He did not get pressed. He actually stood his ground. People, they tried to heckle him. Like he was at a comedy club in the hood. It really felt like he was like, it's like he was at a hood comedy club. And people just wanted to talk some shit, see what he did. He stood his ground. All you can do is respect that he brought them to the stage. They didn't step because they weren't stomped down. He made a fool out of them, called it a night. And Adam, no. Nope. Leave a like, subscribe, brother and sisters. Leave a comment on the video. And um, I appreciate everybody new that's been showing up. But, uh, I'm out.